Matt, second day of Sun and Fun 2014. We're here on the Hell Has Frozen Over tour. We're here, you're here, a lot of really great things happening. But let's talk about this thing. This is an airplane that a number of our own people have been interested in. We're getting some very good reports from out in the field. But it's our first chance to get up and close and personal with you. Tell me about the airplane, what you're trying to do here in the States, and overall, its picture for the LSA market. Yeah, basically we've started moving some slings in the United States. We've got about 10 units, whether it's ready to fly or kits that are in process in the United States. And we've got our first sling four kits coming into the United States. That's just on the home built side. Of course, you can build this airplane, this two place sling as an experimental LSA or an amateur built experimental. And then the four place is an experimental kit. So together with the ready to fly sling light sports and the experimental sling twos and the sling fours, we've got about 10 in the country already and about 10 more inbound as we speak. So we're very happy with the way things are going. LSA, let's talk about that first and foremost. Uh, how do you think this aircraft stands up in the category? What are our customers telling you? And let's face it, it's a convoluted market right now. Competing at it is kind of like really throwing the dice, but the airplane seems to have a good amount of the right stuff. Yeah, absolutely. The way um, the sling sets itself apart from the others is that, and many people have commented with this, these exact words, it's a real airplane. Um, a lot of the competition, um, without naming any names, are, are more like toy airplanes. Uh, they're smaller airplanes. Um, they, they come from uh, uh, other certifications around the world that required lower weights. And uh, they're not designed to utilize the full uh, capacity and envelope of the light sport aircraft category. So this airplane is much more of a real airplane. It's bigger. It's got much more length to it. It's not short coupled. It's not unstable. It's a stable platform. It's big. It's been tested to high loads. If you build it as an amateur built experimental, you can have it up to a gross weight of 1,540 pounds versus the 1,320. So being that it's been tested to both weights, it really is a very capable aircraft. And everyone says it flies like a real airplane. It flies like an airplane should. The handling is where it should be, and the stability is where it should be. It's a real airplane. What does MTL bring to the mix? We're very happy with the association because we've been running MGL Avionics in California for 15 years now. And having a light sport aircraft that every single one is delivered with a, an MGL avionics suite, we're very happy with that association and we're very happy to be able to have an integrated MGL avionics system in a light sport aircraft. What does the bird do right now within the definition of LSA? How much does it cost and when can somebody get one? Roger. The, the airplane ready to fly and very nicely equipped, sold as a light sport aircraft, uh, sells for $130,000 and that includes a, a, an EFIS, a backup instrumentation, a radio, uh, ELT, everything that you need, leather seats, a leather dash, ready to go, 130,000, landed, registered, airworthy. We can deliver them in less than four weeks right now. We have them coming in consistently. How about the ELSA version? We have kits in stock, experimental amateur built kits, which you could build as an ELSA or as an amateur built kit. We have them in stock in California, so you could get one right away right now. The Sling 4s have about a five-week lead time right now, the four-seaters but you could get a two-seater immediately. The airframe kit, including all of the parts for the airframe, is about $30,000. When you add the engine and the avionics and everything that's required to finish it, you probably invest about sixty-five dollars or 70000 to have an airplane that looks like this, but you built yourself. The four, you're looking at an investment of about $100,000 to have the thing up and running, and you've got a very nicely equipped Sling 4, a real nice economy cruiser. Both the Sling 2 and the Sling 4, an airplane just like this airplane, twice has flown around the world, including legs of up to 22 hours over the ocean with extended tanks loaded to 2,000 pounds or more. And of course the Sling 4 has flown entirely around the world as well, and they even brought a Sling 4 to Oshkosh last year and flew across the North Atlantic. So the airplane has done huge lengths over the ocean and around the world and been loaded to excessively high weights. And of course, everything's been tested at the factory beforehand, so there was no testing going on in flights, but it was just great to be able to prove it to its full ability. Renbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Renbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. So, obvious questions. Customer support, training, maintenance. Customer support we, we do from, uh, from uh, California and uh, also from the factory in South Africa. And one very interesting development is that we might see uh, the designer of the airplane, Mike Blythe, move over to, the, to California in the coming months. 
to move here semi-permanently. So you'll be able to get answers right from the horse's mouth with a telephone call right here. And we're also looking at moving some of the manufacturing from South Africa over to the United States. So we're going to start doing more of the completions and more of the assembly and sub-assembly in California. So that's very exciting. And in terms of support, we're about to launch the final version of our Sling Builders app, which is a fantastic iOS app that you can scan with your iPhone or iPad a page in the build manual or part. All of the parts in the kit come with a barcode. You can scan it and it will immediately pull up the page in the assembly manual that that part is on. So you can go right to that page on your app and it also allows you to post a question on our forum based on the part number and that'll bring up all of the questions and answers in that sub-assembly on the forum. So you don't have to go searching around for the names of parts. Basically we have a part number coded forum that takes you to the forum section in that sub-assembly which is going to make life much easier for people searching a forum for questions. So we're very excited. We'll be the first with an app like that. And flight training. Flight training. We've, uh, we've set up uh, uh, several flight schools, including we have our own flight school that we, that we helped start in California. In one year, we've done over 1,200 hours, and we've created about five or six new pilots. And we really are trying to bring more people into aviation. And we think that when people get into a nice airplane that's comfortable and that has good visibility, that's modern, people get into that and they think, this was my dream of aviation and I want to continue. So we're really trying to bring new people into aviation with a modern airplane that flies well. Over the past two decades, no resource has compiled as much expert valued information about the sport plane world than the Sport Plane Resource Guide. Over 1,500 pages, hundreds of aircraft, dozens of how-tos and directories. All this and more will be coming to the sport aviation world soon with the new all-electronic and updatable Sport Plane Resource Guide for your iPad, iPhone, Kindle, tablet, PC, or other electronic devices. Get your order in now www.sportplane.com In uh, LSA configuration, if you're out on the typical $100 hamburger mission, what kind of range are we looking at? What are good cruise numbers, fuel flows, and the like? Yeah, this, this airplane will cruise at, uh, at sea level, it'll cruise at 120 knots on the button at uh, max continuous power. So we've got this plane set up to, to fly the maximum speed allowed. Obviously at altitude it slows down a little bit. We normally work on a cruise speed of 115 knots. And at that speed, you can fly for five hours. If you don't have too many people on board, if you fill it up, you can really fly for 600 nautical miles or more. And what's the future for this line? Basically, we're very happy with the line now. We're happy that we're offering people the ability to get into a ready-to-fly airplane or to build a two-seat kit or to build a four-seat kit. And we'll continue with that. We have a tail dragger version of this airplane, which is very exciting. And it's an unbelievable airplane. It's amazing how sexy this airplane looks when it's sitting on its tail. And it flies just as well. Down the road, we have a Sling 6 which is going to be a high wing airplane potentially it'll be a six seater what we're doing now with every airplane that we've got in the fleet they've all been tested according to certification standards so there's a team at the factory that has tested the sling 2 the sling 4 the tail dragger according to all of the tests in the part 23 standards they're working on it all day long there's about five guys just doing nothing but tests and documenting them they don't have the expensive oversight that wouldn't be involved in certification but basically everything that we do we're doing with a mind to learning about the certification process and potentially down the road having some certified airplanes which would include something like the six-seater. So we're doing a lot of that work now and we'll be ready to spend the big money when the time is necessary. Matt, we appreciate your time. We're really looking forward to flying the bird. I've been uh, trying to get my hands on this one for a while. Looking forward to it over the next few days and we thank you much for your time. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it.